I am Nan Gill. This is Empowering Women Everywhere. And today our guest is Ellie Savoy. She is a board certified holistic coach and the author of her book, Stop Dieting, Start Living. Hi Ellie, how are you? Hi Nan, I'm great, thanks. How Good. are you? Wonderful, wonderful. So Good. glad to have you on the show. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I've been waiting to interview you about this because I think it's just so important um, the work that you're doing so do you want to tell us a little bit about how you got started and what you're doing yeah absolutely well it all started um, really the initial piece to this was in 2008 okay when my mother passed away after eight, eight years of being uh, ill 21 months later my dad passed away oh my goodness. very suddenly of a heart attack and those two things obviously caused a lot of grief yeah. and introspection. Right. And um, I just started to think about, well, I'm this type A personality, an overachiever. Right. Go, 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 stress to the hilt. Right. And so what's it all about? Where am I going and what am I doing? Right. <laughs> and because that saying you can't take it with you when you die right. is just so true. And, uh, you know, it really hit me in, that, in those moments. So, but what really got my attention right. that woke me up was in 2011, I had my own diagnosis. Oh no. And um, it was uterine fibroids actually, and I was given four options. One was a hysterectomy, two other horrid surgeries, right. or do nothing. And I didn't want surgery, right. so I, I basically healed my body naturally through uh, homeopathy at the time. And then I realized that I wanted to help other people. I've always been interested in health and wellness, and right. bit, but been in and out of it my whole life. Right. You know, I wasn't really all in just when I felt like it, pretty much when my body had been pushed to the limit and I needed to recover. Right. So um, I went and got, uh, became a board certified holistic health coach. And then I wrote my book in 2015, that's okay. when it was released, mm -hmm. because I thought, you know what, I, I really, when I looked at how I got to where I was on this path. Right. It was really a strong five P's, which you know we'll probably cover today. But but just to say for now, the first one was priority is priorities. Right. And I made myself a priority. Right. And that's what I call the foundational uh, work because I was a yo-yo dieter for over twenty five years, like right. so many other people, especially women are. Right. And we just think well. Well, it worked before, I'll try it again. I'm going to a party on Saturday. You know, it's a, it's a, a wedding two months from now. I'll just starve myself until then. Right, which is not good for your body at all. No, and it's just, it's miserable actually, just right. to always have that chatter in your mind about food. And so I wanted to share this message. Right. It's because I live it. I, I, I'm, this is not sort of textbook stuff. It's not something I've read about. This right. is something I've, I've gone from the struggle of that right. to the freedom that it provides uh -huh. and it's it's I'm told all the time from people this message is so big it's so needed that there's so many people struggling unnecessarily and so my focus is about health right then the weight takes care of itself it's sort of like we have the, the emphasis on the wrong syllable <laughs> <laughs> right? right it's like oh I need to be thin I need to lose weight well who cares really if you're not healthy well, if you're hungry and you're not getting the right food and the right nutrition, um, you're going to stuff with all kinds of stuff that might not be good for you. Exactly. Yeah. It's so just, yeah. you just, you know, you eat because you're hungry. And then if you're not eating the right things, it just doesn't satisfy you. Exactly. And you eat more and that's, you start wearing your clothes. Yes. I mean, wearing your food. Wearing your food. <laughs> yes. Yes. It shows up all over. <laughs> Just where you don't want it to. <laughs> exactly. 
just when you want to get in that suit or the you know the bathing suit or the the slack set you haven't worn in a year because you're going someplace special and then all of a sudden you can't fit in and you're wondering what happened. I know we have this negative self talk you know we look in the mirror right. and like oh I don't like the way that is oh my hips are too big oh blah 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 and then you know go into the closet is no fun because we don't really like the way we look in our clothes right and so uh, there we can that we can stop that madness I call it a trap it's like we society just is in our face all the time right, with the next about best how much fix. you weigh and yeah. how thin you are yeah and so you know I I'm the total opposite of that now and, and I, you're I, thin well I, I mean I'm I'm healthy right. <laughs> <laughs> the numbers I focus on are my blood work numbers okay. not the uh, not the number on the scales no but really basically if you're healthy you look good yes yeah if you're healthy you know um, and if you're dieting and you're not eating the proper food and you're not getting enough protein, you know, you get to a point where you're starved and you begin to stuff. I mean, I remember I used to, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, nothing felt like it would work for me except a bowl of vanilla ice cream with chocolate sauce. And then I would oh. get the rest of the energy to go the rest of the day. And that's like nothing. That's like eating nothing. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, it gives you a buzz. It gives you a sugar high. The sugar drinks that they have now that they sell, yeah. you know, is it doesn't help. No, it's. Um, I mean, I used to have that roller coaster as well right. years ago. You know, you'd, you'd have something. It's like the afternoon crash. You would need something to pick you up. Right. So you'd have something sugary and sweet, right. and then you'd have that slump afterwards. Right. Afterwards, yeah. yeah, it's worse than it was before. Yeah, yeah. So, what are your eight P's? Five. Five P's. I okay. may come up with eight one day, but right now they're five. <laughs> There's only five, okay. <laughs> um, well, the first one is priorities. Right. And I like to refer to it as, I, I like to use the, uh, the house as a metaphor. Right. So, because it's funny, really, I came from such a, a simple upbringing. You know, I, I'm from England. My parents live very simply. I wouldn't have guessed. Uh, you know, somebody <laughs> asked me recently, where are you from? And I always say, the Bronx. And they never know how to take me. They think, they're like, some people... Where you know, in England did you grow up? The Southwest, Gloucestershire. Okay. Um, and so, but when I moved to, um, well, I moved to America in 1998. Uh -huh. And it was always known to us as the land of opportunity. And so, of course, you know, with my personality, I was just, you know off you were doing everything I was always yes opportune and uh, so I I realized that um, I, I forgot where I was going with this now no well the four P's the five, five P's. P's oh the house the house, the house. oh yeah so I came back to the simplicity the five. simplicity I'm just testing you Nancy if you're paying attention <laughs> <laughs> to the simplicity of um, of, of living right and so once I made myself a priority and, and then that leads into stop pretending and uh, which is all about excuses because when we're a priority we don't have the excuses and so the so it's very hard for a woman to be a priority because she has children she has a husband and she's always thinking about that or she's thinking about her career so thinking about yourself as the most important thing, get that priority first. Yes, it's like, and then you know, everything else will follow because you can't really be of service to somebody else if you're not taking care of that yourself. That's exactly it, Nan. It's like yeah. the safety announcement on the plane, isn't it? They tell us to put your own oxygen mask on first in case of an emergency. Right. And yet we think that we have to put everything and everybody else ahead of ourselves. Exactly. But if even if we have somebody that is, um, like let's say an aging parent or anybody that right. we're, we're caring for, we often let ourselves go to the curb right. because we don't have time for ourselves. But um, healthy living honesty does not take a lot of time it's just like anything else we, we we get dressed in the morning we brush our teeth right you know we go to the bathroom there are things we do we don't say I don't have time for any of that these are just <laughs> I things have time that to go to the bathroom would be a real mess <laughs> <laughs> so the, the the priorities is a foundational piece right getting so, the proper nutrition for your health is a priority yes and saying making a declaration and saying you know drawing a line in the sand I'm a priority in my own life right. and I matter. 
that's it it's really that simple and you know it, it it has energy around it it carries weight it's like it's powerful right and so I refer to that as the foundation of a house because you can't put on the, up the walls and the roof right unless you have something solid for it to last on exactly. right and diets and quick fixes don't have that foundation right so it can become a lifestyle if you're not getting the proper nutrition you're tired and you can't do whatever you need to do during the day anyway right so, okay yeah. so that's the first priority yep. is putting your health first start there just and it, this is not a race I, I talk about progression not perfection right so it's it's a progression it's it's not a sprint you know it's it's a it's a slow and steady it's an enjoyment and yes mm -hmm. and to enjoy it and I have a great tip too because oh my gosh this was just like so liberating to say don't get rid of all your junk we always think we have to get every all the rubbish out of the house and then we're good right. but the thing is in the beginning we're not ready for that because it's too much of a leap yeah. so still eat potato chips still eat whatever your go-to's are if you like ice cream or you know whatever that is have it but have but it start bringing in more healthful foods right. and then the ones that aren't so healthy get crowded out okay and then the second p is the pretending piece which i refer to as the walls they are like um you you can you know you can take shortcuts when you're building a house you might put a two by four and then a two by six and not set it up properly right. and it doesn't it doesn't it's not the right way to build a house right, right. there is there are certain ways you do things and if we're if we're sort of taking shortcuts with ourselves and pretending to ourselves that we ate two cookies when we ate the whole bag, let's say the whole packet, um, we're not we're not doing the best for ourselves. Right. So this pretending pee is is big. I mean, for me, it was I was drinking wine most nights as a way to decompress. Yeah. You know, I wasn't drinking it morning, noon, and night, but it just at night. So to me, it was like, well, that's okay because it's just at night, and you know, and it just becomes a habit. Right. And then it's it carries a lot of empty calories. It well, affects wine your really sleep. puts it on you. Yeah. Especially on your stomach. Yeah. So I was thirty pounds heavier than I am now, not just from the wine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My lifestyle in general. Yeah. Um, and so. We have to get, Susie Orman says, you know, the financial guru, you right. have to face it to erase it when she's referring to debt. Right. But it's the same with us. If with we food. If we have our head in the sand and we're like, you know, we're pretending it doesn't exist. Or pretending it's okay, what we're doing is Yes, okay. yeah. Then um, we don't really set ourselves Like it's free. only one bowl of ice cream every afternoon. No. <laughs> yeah. But if it's six, it's okay. Just own it, you know. <laughs> deal with the consequences right <laughs> and the third one is perception okay we often think that things cost too much money or take too much time and that it costs too much to eat real healthy food well it's true that it does cost more at the register but it's cheaper than dealing with sick care here right. or health care definitely so you know those few extra dollars yep go a long way and I refer to this as upgrades. Like we, we upgrade our operating systems, our phones and all this kind of thing, right? And we'll upgrade the seat on the plane if we can. Right. Uh, we're looking for upgrades in our lives that we think are beneficial to us. Right. But I encourage people to look at their food choices in terms of upgrades. Exactly. So rather than, you know, going from mac and cheese to quinoa, right? right. And people are like, quinoa, quinoa. It's, uh, it's actually, people think it's a grain, but apparently it's a seed. Yeah. But it's really fluffy and it's a he right. very healthy food. Right. And it doesn't taste very good all by itself. You have to jazz it up a bit. Right. Um, but it's, so that would be an upgrade, you know, but, but there are simpler upgrades that don't take quite a leap for people. Right. So it could be, uh, l let's say it's something, I don't eat any processed foods anymore, but let's say it's a TV dinner. Exactly. And it's in a box and you just stick it in the oven or the microwave. And it's great convenient. It's very convenient, but there's going to be a price for that right. lifestyle at some point with the inconvenience of feeling sick or, you know, being ill over or something. Getting, or getting ill. Or, or getting a disease or something. But there are, you know, quick meals yes. that are organic. And healthy. Oh, I, I tell you, I, I don't spend hours in the kitchen. Right. People are amazed at like, I say, oh, I whip things up in five or ten minutes. Yeah. 
pull out that Cuisinart and the Vitamix and you know my gadgets aren't collecting dust in the back of the cupboard anymore <laughs> yeah. they're being used and so these upgrades can be a real game changer because it's just about right. shifting our our perception uh -huh. around how we view things so for me it was like I stopped making the I mean myself a priority I stopped the pretending right. I switched my perception and then, so instead of cooking feeling like a chore and us eating out four nights a week which we used to do right I really like to be in the kitchen now and and I actually on my way here today I, I have my smoothie with me I made it earlier yep. it's in the car to drink when I go home yeah. really nice <laughs> should have brought you one too I didn't think that's okay I've already had mine today. oh good for you <laughs> good for you yeah. um, so then the fourth one is plan okay we're often planning everything else in life yep. like a vacation a you know some kind of a party a dinner a gathering right meeting a friend, going to the hairdresser, you know, we have a plan, we make appointments. Right. Yet we don't often have a plan for our day-to-day -day life. You know, we're flying out the door in the morning, we're not thinking about what's for dinner. Exactly. So then that convenience piece sets in, thinking that, oh, this is easy, I don't have to think about it. Right. So the planning piece, it takes time in the beginning, that's for sure. This is not an overnight fix. And you have a lot of help on your website, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. And what's the name of your website? It's my name, elliesavoy.com. Okay. Yeah. And your phone number? 845-677-9403. Right. So if you need help in planning, you can go right to Ellie's website. And on her website, I, I took a look, you have recipes, you yeah. have instructions, you even have how to pick which appliance and yes, yes. and all kinds of things. Yeah. So it's a good it's a good tool to get started. And you don't have to do it all at once. Well that's the key. Yeah. You know, it's just picking something. So even with the upgrades, right. I often encourage people to Say so pick two or three, right. or let's say six. If you're comfortable with six, then uh -huh. do what's ever comfortable without going into overwhelm. Right. And then look for those items that are your favorites, right. and look for an upgrade. So an upgrade of something in a packet could be fewer ingredients. Some ingredient lists are like this long, exactly, and you can't pronounce some of the words. And you don't know what it is. No, it's you know it's not food. Right. It looks like food, but it's not from the earth. It's made in a lab or a, a factory. You and know? they do a lot of that in the U.S. Yeah. yeah, and this is all these things are huge contributors to the health crisis here, or this this quick fix approach to everything, or this quick convenience, you right. know. And so there's no shortcut. We have to. As you say, get the proper nutrition, but it's even more than that. It's not just our physical health; it's our emotional health, our mental health. Exactly. You know? If you don't feel well, you don't feel like oh, doing anything. It's miserable. Yes, it's really. But if is. you have good energy in the morning, yeah. If you're eating properly, you're getting the right nutrition. Do you recommend vitamins? Or? Good question. I actually um, don't take that many myself. Okay. I, I do prefer to get as much as I can from my food. But having said that, some of the soils de today are depleted. Right. And even and they though... they don't do, they're supposed to let it rest a year, every seventh year. Yeah. We, well, we, we don't do I that. remember that in school. It was called the three-field crop rotation. Right. Um, but we belong to a, it's called a CSA out in the right. area where we live. It's a community-supported agriculture. Uh -huh. We've been doing that for many and years And there's a now. lot of them around. There are, yeah. There's a great website actually called localharvest.org. Okay. Where you can go in and find a local, um, a restaurant that's serving local food right. or a, um, a local CSA. In fact, I gave someone, a friend of mine ages ago that website and she didn't realize there was one right in her, practically in her, her own backyard. She okay. was so thankful. So that's, um, so with the vitamins and things like that, I, I do supplement a bit, but not very much. Right. I'm not really into, um, you know, these multi-level marketing uh, approaches to things where you've got like 30 vegetables in one pill, uh -huh. you know, it's all dried. I mean, it might work for some people, but that's not my approach. Because right. to me, it's about being invested. Right. Not that, that could be still considered a, a quick fix. Oh, I've had everything I need, let's just swallow a pill. Instead of enjoying the connection with food, what right. it really represents, yeah, and uh, you know, having a meal around the table, right? 
Yeah. So um, yeah. So we've got priority. Yeah. We've got. Per. Come on now. <laughs> pretending. All right. Priority. Pretending. Perception. Perception. Plan. Plan. And, and passion. Yeah. Oh, and so oh, back to the uh, the house metaphor. So the the perception is for the upgrades. It's like when we in our homes, we'd like to have nice countertops, nice appliances. We have right. an upgrade of those things, like nice taps right. and whatnot. And then the the plan is the roof. It's like what protects us from the elements. And so, um, we if we don't have this plan, we're not protected. Right. Right. We're just going to stop at every convenience store and whatnot. Right. Or you're hungry. That's yes. the worst part. You wait until you're hungry. Yeah. And then you don't have anything with you and so you just, you know, yeah. go for everything and anything. And the stuff that you can get in the convenience store isn't really healthy. No. No. Yeah. Not to my knowledge anyway. Right. So yeah, so the passion is like moving into your, your nesting, you know, moving into your home. It being comfortable in your space. Right. And feeling at ease. It's like being at home in your body. Right not feeling stressed out about what, what you're eating or how much weight you've got. And really start to embrace feeling happier in life. Right. And the older we get, you know, we're, we're so bombarded with being told it's all downhill from here. You know, oh, women in menopause, it's, it's a, you know, you're gonna be dealing with hot flashes and all this, and some do. But we can, we can improve so many things that we're going through. We don't have to deal with all these elements and ailments. Well, it's just like your car. You really would not put in dirty water into your car to make it run. You have yes. to use a nice gasoline. Yep. So if you don't put the right stuff into your body, you're not going to have the energy. You're going to feel depressed. You're not going to feel good. Right. You're just not, and you're not going to have the passion to live. Right. If you're getting proper nutrition, then you wake up in the morning and you're like, yeah, hey, man, bring it on. What do I want to do today? Yeah. You know? And, and I, I have sustained energy now throughout the day. Yeah. You know, I'm naturally tired at the end of the day. Right. Um, I don't stay up, all, you know, all hours working. I mean, sometimes I didn't used to shut off the computer until at the earliest nine o'clock. Well, you are a workaholic. Well, am I? <laughs> <laughs> it looks that way. <laughs> Uh, one to another, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I do love what I do. Yeah. But I but I'm, have so much more mindfulness now about how I feel and wanting to maintain feeling well. Yes. But I don't push myself to the limits yeah, anymore. Yeah, when you're tired, you rest. Yes. And that's so important. Yeah. And it's hard, you know, as a mother, it's hard as a caregiver. But if you don't plan and get somebody in to assist you when you need it and just say, oh, I'm going to white knuckle it, I'm going to get down, I'm going to do it all myself. You burn yourself out and then there's nobody to do it. Yeah. So if you plan, like one of the P's, then um, you can say, oh my goodness, you know, I do need an afternoon off. I need to get my balance back. I need to get a massage. I need to, you know, get some healthy food. And then you'll have the energy the next day to carry on. Yeah, and you sleep better too. Yeah. I mean, I, d I don't know the statistic off the top of my head, but it's a huge percentage of people don't get quality sleep. You know, end up yawning at 10 in the morning. Yeah. Uh, and, and just don't feel well throughout the day. I think a lot of people do sugar drinks and coffee and caffeine all during the day. And, and then, you know, they're really not getting nutrition they're getting enough energy to get through the day, but then when the end of the day comes, it's like a glass of wine and rewind, re you know, yeah, the relax. Reward. The reward and the relax. Yeah, yeah, and then you're really not giving your body any kind of fuel that it can use. No. So yeah. one suggestion, what would be your one suggestion if you were going to give a suggestion to our audience? Wow, just one. Just one. That's what would be the first thing that you would tell them? Oh, I would say that it really all starts with making a decision. Okay. Make a decision that you're worthy of having a life and a body that you love. Right. That serves you well. 
that we're not, you know, that you're thriving in, not just surviving, not just getting through the day. Exactly that, you know, I'm in my 50s now and I feel like I'm so gung-ho for like the next 30 years, you know, or whatever. It's like I just don't feel any different really to when I was in my 30s. I feel better now than I, than I may right, have done back then. Right, because you're eating better. Yes. So, you know, generally I get a good sleep. I right. mean, there's always something where you wake up or, you know, you're not getting a solid... I, I don't think I sleep for eight hours. Um, but I'm usually in bed by 10. I have a routine and then I'm up. Um, depending on the time of year, like in right. the summer months, it's earlier. Right. I tend to like to get up with when the light, when it's light. Yeah. So in this, in the winter, um, you I sleep in a little. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm up. But you actually are being balanced with what your body needs yeah. instead of trying to force yourself to do something that doesn't feel natural to you. Yeah, it's like living with the sight, you know, with the rhythm of, of life. How the farmers work, you know, right. they're up with the sun, right. and uh, it's, it's it's good. And the other thing I want to ask you is looking into the future, say the next five, ten years, what would you like to see happen? Oh gosh, I would really love to see organic food uh, more ava more available to more people right. uh -huh. uh, it, through actual quantity and right. price. Exactly. And uh, you know, the government has been subsidizing the top five growers since the 1930s, I believe. Right. So it's those those top five that are, you know, the soy, the corn, the wheat, and whatnot are, right. are, in these processed foods. So right. like high fructose corn syrup, right. is is very damaging to our health, and it's in so many of the foods right. as a as a way to preserve. There's so many emulsifiers, and things should not, you know, bread shouldn't be immortal. I mean, it should go moldy. <laughs> You know, it's not supposed to last three weeks. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I would just say that to, to really, it, it does come down to a decision. Because I knew when I got that diagnosis, I mean, right. my life wasn't being threatened. Right. But I just saw it as an opportunity. The quality of but, life was yeah. being threatened. Yes, it was scary to me yeah. to, to go down that road. And if we, as a community, purchase good, healthy food, we're going to make a demand for that and the other stuff that's sitting on the shelf because we're not buying it, they'll stop making it. Yeah, supply and demand is so true. Yeah. But now if you notice there there are, you know, marketers move with the times and they, yeah. they know what the new buzzwords are. So everything is gluten free now. But you have to but read you the have label to read the because there's other stuff in it. Yeah. And yeah. make sure that it's healthy all the way through. Yeah. So anyone that wants to really add to their quality of their life and get more energy and, and not have to diet anymore should go to Ellie's website, which is elliesavoy.com. Okay, or give her a buzz at 845-677-9403. Thank you so much, Ellie. And also, Nan, if I could just say, there is a, there's a copy of my book for free on my website. Okay. It's the whole book, not just a chapter or two. So, so there's no excuses. Yes. Yeah, so you can't make it easier than that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so download your free copy today. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I've been looking